Hey, welcome to another episode of GeekOutdoors.com. So a little while back, I did a few videos where I purchased a brand new Windows laptop and converted it over to a Linux laptop. If you did want to see those videos, I will leave in the description area below. And so today I'm doing an update to my Linux laptop to see whether or not making the move was actually worth it. So let's go ahead and check this out. Okay, so now we're on my laptop, so let's go ahead and see what I'm working with. In terms of hardware, I have an Intel Core i3 dual core CPU running at 2.2 gigahertz. It is a single physical processor with two cores and four threads and I have eight gigs of RAM. Now in terms of storage, it originally came with 128 gigs, but I added an additional terabyte here as well. And for my operating system, I'm currently running Linux Mint 19.2 Tina. And so as you can see here, this is obviously not a powerhouse of a laptop but is this enough for me to do my everyday work? Well, let's just see what I do with my laptop. So the first thing that I use it for is digital marketing. And so that requires pretty much all internet based applications. And so as you can see here, I have all my browsers here. I have my communication tools like Discord and Slack and Zoom when I need to work within Teams. And then for office related stuff, I have LibreOffice here. And then for all my other programs, everything that I have on my desktop, I have it here as well. And then if there are programs that requires Windows, well, I have Windows as well. I have Windows 10 running in virtual machine right here. So for any programs that I need Windows 4, I have it here available and it works just fine. And then obviously the second biggest thing that I use my laptop for is content creation. And I can do all my content creation here. When it comes to screen recording, I use OBS, which is what's recording this right now, and Simple Screen Recorder. And for my video editing, I have tools like OpenShot, but the main one that I use is Kden Live. And as you can see here, I have a 4K project. So I could actually do 4K video editing right here on this laptop. Now, obviously, it's not going to have the same performance as it is on my desktop, so things are a little bit choppy. However, I can use proxy clips in Kden Live, so that will make things a lot smoother. And then once I render it, everything is just fine. So as you can see here, I'm able to do everything that I would normally do on my desktop. And there's nothing here that's missing. But the only thing that I would like more is obviously more powerful hardware. So on my next upgrade, I'm obviously going to get a more powerful laptop and it'll make things even better. And so that is my overall experience with a Linux laptop, originally a Windows laptop. And so hopefully you see here that you can actually do your work on this Linux laptop without really any sacrifices at all. So if you actually had any thoughts on this, whether you have a Linux laptop yourself, or maybe you're thinking about converting your Windows or Mac laptop over to Linux laptop, hopefully this answers some of your questions. And if you did want to see my entire Windows to Linux laptop journey, I will leave the links in the description area below. So as always, if you did get value out of these videos, be sure to share, like, and subscribe. Hey geeks, if you are a creative geek like me and you wanted to learn how to create content on YouTube and other places on the internet, then check out my Go Content Creators Group where you'll get access to 30 videos plus additional content for all the creative geeks out there. And the best part of it is, all of this is free. Simply head over to the link below, check out my page, and sign up for my Go Content Creators Group. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the other side. Thanks for checking out this episode. And as always, if you like these videos, be sure to click on the subscribe button. And for full written content, audio content, and additional geek stuff, head over to geekoutdoors.com and I'll see you outdoors on the very next episode.